excited for another opportunity to worship together today. I just want to encourage you with our GAC Kids mission statement, which is to what? To know the love of the Father, to know Jesus, to grow in his word, and to show and tell of his love for others. May we just continue to show others who Jesus is by what we do and how we live. May we have fun in worshiping with him, and may we just learn and grow as we just have an opportunity through this video to worship together today. scripture memory verse. Today's verse comes from Psalm 34 verse 19 and it says this, Jesus comes to the rescue each time. So today we're going to put motions to this verse and learn it together. So you will stand with me as I teach you some motions. Here we go. Jesus, we're going to do the cross, comes, we're going to run to the rescue. We're going to scoop down like he's picking us up. And then each time we're gonna just point to our wrist, kind of like we have a watch each time. And then Psalm 34, 19. So let's do that together, shall we? Jesus comes to the rescue each time. Psalm 34, 19. Good job, guys. So I'm thinking, let's have a little fun. Let's try that a little faster, shall we? So stand up if you haven't already and do this verse with me. It says, Jesus comes to the rescue each time. Psalm 34, 19. How did you do? We can also have fun and slow it down. Are you ready? Jesus comes to the rescue each time. Time. Psalm 34, 19. So have fun learning God's word. It's so great to learn and memorize the scripture verse. So today we are reading in Luke and we are in chapter 10, verses 38 through 42 and we are learning about the home of Mary and Martha. So let's read together. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said, but Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things. 
but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. about the home of Mary and Martha and how exciting it must have been to actually have Jesus as a visitor. And yet we see Mary and Martha chose two totally different paths, right? Martha, she remained focused on all of the things that had to be done, the busyness, the, the preparedness of having a guest in a home, and yet Mary chose just kneeling down at the feet of Jesus and listening. Um, and I pray that, you know, when we think about our lives and how we can apply and learn what Mary did versus what Martha did, that we will just understand the importance of what? Spending time with our Father. You know, it might look like a bunch of different things. You know, you just saw some clips of me reading and worshiping and listening and reaching out to the Father. And that's what Mary did, right? And Martha, she was distracted and you just saw a clip of me scurrying around and cleaning and, and baking and, and trying to get things ready. Sometimes we can be so distracted by the things around us. And today's object lesson is to have us see what goodness it is when we just sit and rest and see what amazing things God has in store for us when we continue just to seek Him, spend time with Him, and I encourage that we will do that today. So for this experiment, I need some type of clear soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into one of my jars. You see it's already fizzing, it's already creating amazing things happening, exciting things. And then I have this water. And these two just represent Martha and Mary. See, Martha was very distracted. Um, so we're gonna let the water represent Martha and we're gonna let the pop represent Mary. And then we're gonna add pop rocks if you've never experienced these wonderful candies. Uh, they kind of have like a little celebration in your mouth. Was Jesus pleased with what Martha was doing or was pleased with what Mary was doing? So we'll see when we put these pop rocks into the water, what ends up happening with the soda versus the water. <gasps> So when we take and see how the soda, which represented Mary, Mary was the one who chose to spend time with Jesus and not be distracted by all of the things that she could have been distracted by. We see how the pop actually changed color. And that's what happens when we spend time with Jesus. 
our lives are affected and changed. We learn, we grow, and um, that is the blessing of spending time with our Heavenly Father. So there you have it, right? We just saw what happened to the water, which was our representation of Martha. Martha was busy with so many things, and yet she forgot the most important, which is just about spending time with Jesus. So may this time together, through this object lesson, the Bible story, may it just help us remember how important it is to just come and spend time with Jesus. So it's been great to worship together today, and I'm just going to go ahead and close us in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, just thank you so much for this day that you've given to us. Thank you for an opportunity to worship, sing praises to your name, Lord Father, to look to your word. Thank you for the wisdom through your reading in the in the Bible today and in the life of Mary and Martha. Lord Father, may you help us remember never to be too busy to spend time with you. Thank you again, Lord, for all that you've given to us through your son, Jesus. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.